do you cross over when you're standing in front of a mountain, a giant that's blocking your way? This is what he means when he says walk by faith, not by sight. I'm sorry. I didn't, I really did not plan to have this message out, but I felt it in my heart that I needed to share it with someone else. As myself, I'm going through this and the Lord put in my heart that someone out there needs to hear this because they're probably going through the same thing. If you're going through this, type in the comments. Let me know. I'm here to tell you that you're not alone. We're all going through this. One way or the other, you're almost there. And you're not walking alone. God is walking with you. So as God is walking with you, he's going to make sure you arrive at the right place. No matter the time, no matter how long it's going to take for you to actually get there, you know one thing for a fact that you're actually gonna get there as believers we are all going through this even if it's not the same exact thing but we're all going through a process of trusting God in the midst of adversity trusting God when things in front of you are completely opposite but still declaring the Word of God over your life guys this was not planned okay <clears throat> we're gonna talk because god has put this in my heart so heavy that i really did not plan this i look kind of like a mess but i said you know what this is not about me this is about the glory of god i'm sharing what god has put in my heart and i hope that this will be a blessing to someone out there so the lord put in my heart to share a message on being a christian is not easy and when i say being a christian is not easy i'm literally talking about being a real Christian because a lot of time people like to mix things people like to say I'm a Christian but I can still live in sin I'm a Christian but I can still live in bondage I'm a Christian but yet I can do things that doesn't honor God yet you're claiming to be a Christian if that's your case I hope this message will be a wake-up call for you to get your life in order and realize that being a Christian is not mixing and matching on the very last day many will come to God and say Lord, every now prophesy in your name. Lord, every now spoken in your name. Every now preach. Every now healed. Every now help people that were in need. What have we not done? Yet God will tell them, depart from me. I've never knew you. And people will wonder, what did I do wrong? Or where did I go wrong? Hello. I pray this message find you for a reason. I really did not plan to come up here. But I felt in my spirit that someone needs to hear this. If you're going through something similar, then this is your message. If you're new on this channel, my name is Joyce Ekofo, and on this channel, I talk all about God's truth in any possible way, whether it is through shorts, whether it is through long form videos, all of the content on this channel is for the glory of God. And if you're interested to learn more about God's truth, then make sure you hit follow or subscribe for more Christian content. The very fact that you're mixing and twisting things you are one foot in and one foot out that makes you a lukewarm christian so this message is really to wake you up if that's your case and if like me you're going through situations that are challenging in which you're like okay god what's the next move i'm following you i'm doing what you've told me to do i've heard your voice you've called me to do this thing but now what is the next step i'm kind of like stuck in the middle i don't know what to do what am I doing wrong? You have things, right? It's set up in a way that you have expectations that by this time, I'm going to reach this goal. By this time, I'm going to have this and that. And when things don't align according to your own goal, you start wondering, okay, what's going on? Like, Lord, I'm doing exactly the same thing that you've told me and my brother. That's just an example, okay? But my brother is succeeding more than me. I'm doing exactly what you told me to do, but how come I'm not having the same result like them? They're getting results faster than me. What about me? What's going on, Lord? And if you're in that situation, whatever your case might be, maybe you're in a different position where you're praying for God to heal you and God is not responding the way that you expected, or let's just say God isn't healing you as fast as you thought, and you're waiting on God to heal you and you're like, okay, God, you said you're going to heal me. Your word says this. Your word says that. How come I'm still not healed? How come I'm still dealing with the same issue? If this is your case, then I'm here to tell you, don't give up on God. Because God will never give up on you. I know it's easy to say, but harder to do. But the fact is that God loves you. And God has a purpose for all of us. The Bible says, even when God's promises seem to tarry, it seems like they're taking forever. 
God is not slow when it comes to keeping his promises. God will reward you in the right time. God will come through for you. But if you are sitting there and you're like, okay, it's taking forever. According to your time, right? According to your time, you're like, well, God, by this time, I should have this. I should have that. And you're still not getting the result that you need. You need to remember that it's not your time. God isn't limited by time. So being a Christian in itself is not easy. This walk is not easy because God is asking us to walk by, not by sight but by faith. Yet what you see in front of you is completely opposite. What do you do? You're standing in front of a mountain like the children of Israel. And they're like, okay, God, where do we go? What do we do? And God is like, keep walking. You're standing in front of the sea. God is telling them you need to cross over. But how do you cross over? My goodness. So if you're going through something similar, let me know in the comments so I can pray for you. I'm sure someone else reading this will also be encouraged to know that they're not alone. To know that this is not the end of your story. What I'm trying to say is this. This walk is not always easy. But it is so much worth it because we know the end result is spending our eternity with God. And so... No matter the sicknesses, no matter the problems that you may encounter throughout your path, until Jesus Christ returns or before you die, you still have to keep that faith in your heart and believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. This will give you the keys to salvation. You feel like you're going and you're pressing harder, you're praying, you're seeking the face of God, yet the way is still blocked, yet you're still not seeing what God promised to you. Keep believing, keep praying, keep pushing. God hasn't said his last word yet. Even when you're dealing with health issues, you're proclaiming the word of God. You're saying, God, you said you're going to heal me. Lord, you are my healer. You're proclaiming the word of God. You're praying, you're fasting, you're seeking the face of God, yet nothing is changing. You still see the giant in front of you. What should you do? As a Christian, as a believer, you should stand on what the word of God says. God says, trust me. As long as God is with you, you're going to be fine. If you're blessed, but make sure you leave a thumbs up. God works outside of the timing. So you need to surrender your life to God and let God do his thing. As long as you're trusting God, as long as you have faith, faith isn't just a matter of, uh, yeah, I have options. So if this doesn't work, this is my second plane. Faith is literally walking with your eyes like this, right? Because the Bible tells us that faith is the assurance of things that we hope for. It's not the things that we see. Like even for me, if I can give an example, like even being out here, being a content creator and things like that, that's just an example. God is asking me to boldly stand out here and talk, right? To speak and spread the good news to strengthen others, to bring people back to him and all of that. And as cool as that sounds, it's not as easy. <laughs> Being a minister of God, even if you're serving in a local church, physical church, you're serving God online, all the means out here are helpful tools that God is using in these last days to raise up a new generation of servant of God, a new generation of people that will boldly stand for God, that I will stand for the truth, that will not bow to the system, that will not bow to the culture. Just because the culture says this is okay, then let's all go in and do what the culture is saying. No, if you're Christians, then we're gonna stand on what the word of God says. What does God say? God says, this is the way that I'm going to follow what God says. I pray that this message is a blessing for someone out there who needs to hear this. No matter how difficult the weight can get, keep believing in God, keep praying, keep pushing. God is never going to let you down. If you're blessed by this, make sure you hit follow or subscribe for more Christian content. On this platform, we talk all about God's truth and spreading the good news of the truth that is according to the Bible. I look forward to see you on my next video and in the meantime, I'm going to put up here two videos on my channel that you can watch next. God bless you.